For those who fought in the Battle of Britain, it was a battle for survival. For the free world, it was a breathless moment in history. For failure would have plunged mankind into a new dark age. Never have so many owed so much to so few. I presume that there is no one who will deny that England should fight on, even though the remainder of the continent of Europe is dominated by the Germans. What's left of your army? Abandoned weapons at Dunkirk. You're defenseless and just playing for time. Europe is ours. We can walk into Britain whenever we like. Don't threaten or dictate to us until you're marching up Whitehall. The war in France was over. The Battle of Britain was about to begin. Two seconds, Rambo! Faced with certain defeat, fighting against insuperable forces, a miracle was achieved by a courageous few. Is everything up? The lot, sir. German military machine, a formidable enemy of thousands of planes, a sure weapon of mass destruction against a small and undermanned force. Yet the story of the RAF in the Battle of Britain is the modern David and Goliath. As a motion picture captured the mood, the feelings, the terror. It's all there. The courage, the fears, the frustrations. We've got the Rosen Crown. He left to drink at the Red Lion there, won't he? The people, the men and women who recreated vividly and realistically one of the great periods of our time. We're fighting for survival. Losing. We need pilots. And a miracle. Britain's finest hour, and the events and people who made it happen. is history. How they did it has become the miracle story of our time. Years in preparation and production, filmed where it happened, the skies once again screaming with bombers and fighters, one massive spectacle of a motion picture that attempts the impossible. And that achievement is the Battle of Britain. I got my number two. I didn't see all. You saw Canfield go down. He blew up. He blew up. This is only the beginning. They won't stop now.